who doesn't like a tall, fine, good looking Filipino guy? Everyone does. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I remain Christine. I'm a medical student in the Philippines. If you're new to my channel, Pali Hook, subscribe to this channel. Let's get to 300. And if you're returning, you're the kings and queens of this channel. You're highly welcome. So today, guys, I want to share with you some of my struggles as a black girl in the Philippines. Some of the things that I battle with, some of the things that are really tough to cope with, and possibly a few ways of how I do overcome these struggles or how I get to live with them because I can't say I have fully overcome them but I'm learning to live with them probably wondering what does this girl have to struggle with in the Philippines trust me there are few things not a lot shot just few things so before I list out the things I struggle with disclaimer I would like to let you guys know that these struggles are very very unique to me although I feel some Africans or few Africans to be able to relate to this trouble. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. One of the things I battle with and one of the things I struggle with ever since I came to the Philippines is the, the cloth size chart. Oh my God. If you've seen me guys, if you've seen my height, I am tall. I am six foot and I'm quite curvy so it's very hard for me to buy trousers that are my length and my size or it's very difficult for me to get a long dress that is just perfect like getting clothes that is my size is really really difficult for me normally in Nigeria I know what I wear I know my size but when I came to the Philippines, I guess because of the differences in our height, because Filipinos here are normally small, they're usually small and not so tall. And me coming like a giant into the country. <laughs> oh wow, when I tried to get a trouser, I used my size in Nigeria. Then I was still using 28. When 28 came, it was like, ah, is this 28 my size? I don't understand. Maybe it's 28 for small i don't get it so i've been battling with the size chart ever since i came to this country it's really been difficult if you ask me today now what is my trouser size my waist size and also the length i don't know because it's really difficult i have to go out try the trousers and then know if i'm going to get it or not so if you want to gift me a trouser, I don't know how you're going to do it, but yeah, it's really difficult getting my length and my size. It was in Philippines I realized I wear 33, not even 32. Not even 32, that is really surprising because I do wear 28, 29. The highest I wore in Nigeria was, 20, was 30, 29, 30. But in the Philippines I wear 31, 32 and it's still not my size, still not my length. That means I should be wearing 33 or 34. Really surprising. Also, when it comes to shoes, the same thing. In Nigeria, I do wear 41, or should I say 40, 41. UE 40, UE 41. US, that's US 10, or US 9. US 9 and US 10. So I am sure of my shoe size in Nigeria, but in this country, no, most times when I buy things online, when I order stuff online, I just hope and i do pray that it comes good it it comes my size because if it's not my size i have to patronize my housemates to buy them from me because what's the point of keeping something you cannot use guys that's my biggest struggle in the philippines i'm not even joking it's really difficult for me when it comes to size charts please if you do know how i can tackle this struggle because i'm still trying but most times all I do is guesswork and I do pray. Whenever I'm ordering something, I back it up with prayers. So if you know how I can tackle this issue, how I can completely get done with this struggle, I would really appreciate it if you let me know in the comments section. That's my number one struggle. On to the next, the second thing I battle with, I've been trying to overcome gradually, but 
I'm not there yet. I'll be there soon, guys. But for now, I'm still battling with it. And that is the food. Ha! Oh, the food. Normally in Nigeria, I used to try food a lot. I used to eat. I don't know if you ask my mom, she might even tell you that I eat anything. I eat every and anything. But <laughs> in the Philippines, it's really been difficult for me. I remember the first day I came to the Philippines. And when I started seeing the food, it really shocked me. It was surprising to me. And when I realized I had to eat white rice with maybe soy sauce or gravy and just chicken, no stew. I'm like, really? Who eats white rice without stew? Well, welcome to the Philippines. That's how they eat it here. <laughs> but with time, I learned how to use the gravy, how to use other sauce and to just survive because if I don't eat, I'm the one doing myself. No one is going to try to force me to eat. So I'm still battling with the food, although it's very, it's very easy for me or it's easier for me because I can improvise improvise in the sense that i can cook i can go to the mall get ingredients i can use to make a stew or make soup or make something i am familiar with something i know how to eat from nigeria so that's one way i tackle this food problems well anytime you see me in an occasion maybe a filipino gathering or just a filipino event if you check my plate, the only thing that will be there might be just rice and chicken. Okay, and pan seeds, because I learned how to eat pan seeds. So, I love pan seeds. I really do love pan seeds. You would only see those three things on my plate. I rarely eat pork. And anything else that I am not familiar with, I don't even bother going there. Like, I stare off it because I don't want to risk trying it and then I don't like it. It's really been challenging guys but well, i'm so excited i'm i'm glad i'm grateful because i am surviving in this aspect just imagine i cannot eat anything in the philippines or i can't get access to the ingredients i need in making my own nigeria recipe ah it would have been really frustrating i would have probably been dead by now because you're not eating or i would have been surviving on junks maybe all the snacks piatos <laughs> and the rest so guys, that's my second struggle, the food. Filipinos eat sugary. Africans, we like spicy. So it's really difficult, really, really difficult. The next point, guys, is, is, is the stare. Oh my God. Filipinos will, Filipinos will stare at you and it will be so obvious because you can see them staring i don't know if you've or if you've experienced something like this if you're black and you've experienced something like this please share with us in the comment section it should not be like i'm the only one facing this struggle have you ever dressed so good looking so so peng you're so fine and then you're about leaving your house and once you step your your feet outside all eyes are on you Sometimes I do wonder, is it as is it is it is it as if they can't see me seeing them stare at me? I don't know. Because I have eyes and I can see you staring at me. So what's the problem? What's our problem? <laughs> I do get that most times they admire my height because some of them do say guapa, oh guapa, so tall and sexy. I know, but it's really awkward for me. When I dress so nice, I'm so confident I'm about to leave my house and then you're staring at me. I do, I'll feel like there's something wrong with my outfit. I feel like maybe there's a stain on my gown, stain on my clothes, or I don't know, a part of my clothes is not good. So the stare is really, really frustrating at times. It might be a way of them appreciating your beauty, of them appreciating how gorgeous you look or how handsome you look, but if Filipinos can really reduce it or not make it so obvious, I would really appreciate it. There was this one time we dressed for church on a Sunday morning and when we stepped out of our estate it was as if I was a runway model because as I was just walking I had people on my right, people on my left staring at me, looking at me and it's really uncomfortable for me because I am tall, I, I stand out anywhere you see me so I do feel like 
ah, really, it's me they are looking at, not my friends. That day we stepped out and I and my friends were just complaining like it's really weird. Everyone lined up, they lined up on the street. You would think we dressed like a princess or a prince or a queen or our dressing was just so mwah, fantastic. But no, Filipinos do stare and the staring at times is really, really frustrating for we blacks. So can you guys reduce the stare or don't make it so obvious? Another point is their water. Most African ladies should be able to relate to this point. The water is really bad for our natural hair. Luckily for me, I'm on a short hair, so I don't have to battle it anymore. But when I came, when I had my long hair, the battle was real. The struggle was real. Their water is really bad for our hair. When you use their water, most times, your hair, you, you, your hair breaks. You have hair breakage, like you comb your hair, it's as if half of your hair just fell on the ground. So it's really difficult for Africans with their water. I know of someone who uses distilled water to wash her hair, bottled water to wash her natural hair. That has to tell you how difficult, how challenging it really is for Africans. I'm surviving it now. I overcame it by cutting my hair, but <laughs> When I want to start growing my hair again, it's going to be back to that struggle, back to that challenge. I'm going to battle the same thing again. But for now, I'm surviving it. From now, I'm living my life <laughs> free of that struggle. So that's, that's that. The water is really bad for African hair. Another point which is very, very, very related to our hair Filipinos will ask you a question about your hair. Hey! Funny enough, today I'm on a short hair, right? The, ne the next day, they might see me with a wig. And then they will ask me, is this your natural hair? <laughs> Sometimes I will be like, yes, it's my natural hair, but it's not my natural hair. And then the next day, they will see me with a short hair. And then they would want to touch it. They would want to be like, ah, wow, fluffy. So, 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 so nice. <laughs> so I'm sure most African ladies battle this particular one. We struggle, we all struggle with this one. The way Filipinos ask about our hair. They are very inqui inquisitive. They are very inquisitive about our hair. They want to know, is it your natural hair? They want to feel it, they want to touch it. Most of them, some of them would even just touch it without even asking you if I can touch it or not. Some of them will. And yes, one point. Hmm. Filipinos do think I don't know what not all Filipinos, but I've encountered certain Filipinos who call me or my housemate. I had this housemate. She also caught her hair one time, one particular time. And then Filipinos were always asking her, not even asking her, they were always calling her Emanuela. Because she caught her hair. They were calling her Emanuela. I don't understand. I know Filipinos are really fond of Emanuela. They really, really know Emanuela and they love her. But assuming that every black girl you see with a short hair is Emanuela, nah, that's not it. That's not it. There was a time we were even crossing the road and then someone just shouted Emanuela on a bike. We were crossing the road and then somebody shouted Emanuela. I'm like, hey. <laughs> it's really, really challenging. They will ask you questions about your hair and then. If you're on a short hair, the assumption that you're Emanuela is there. Well, I'm surviving it. I'm surviving it. Of recent, I've not really been having that struggle. I've not really been having such questions if I'm Emanuela or people call me Emanuela. Filipinos calling me Emanuela. No, I've not really been battling it. But my friend, she really, really, really battled that one. And the last challenge, guys, the last challenge. Mm. It might sound funny, but it's not even funny. I'm really serious. I'm serious about this challenge, guys. Take me seriously. Forget I'm laughing. It's hard to find tall, guys. Why is it hard to find tall, guys? I'm a tall girl, and if I am going to date a Filipino, it, he has to be tall. He has to be tall, yes. If you are a tall guy, please let me know in my, in, my, in my comment section. I'm going to locate you. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. But it's a struggle. 
really a struggle because uh, who doesn't like a tall, fine, good looking Filipino guy? Everyone does. And funny enough, you might see some tall guys, but trust me, it's either they are married or they have a girlfriend. They are always taking. Why are the tall guys all taking? All the tall Filipino guys are married. Why? It's a struggle because we, we the tall girls. How? 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 <laughs> Guys, it's a struggle. It's a struggle for real. Cause I'm tall. I'm six foot. And then imagine a guy that is five three asking me out. How? How we going? How we gonna do it? How we gonna do it? <laughs> so it's a challenge. Maybe I should stop. I should stop searching for them. Hmm? So how I do overcome this struggle is by focusing on African guys. Cause African guys are tall. So. It's an African guy. You cannot find a tall Filipino guy. You survive. You live. <laughs> I know this last point is very funny. It's quite funny, but I'm just telling you guys. A lot of tall girls like me, we struggle. We struggle with this with this particular point. We battle it. It's not easy. It's not easy. The tall guys are hiding. They are out of stock in the Philippines. So I made this TikTok, seeing it a, a, a girl with a tall Filipino guy. I'm like what that's on amazon <laughs> you can check on my tiktok i'll put the link in the description section you can check there to see the video i'm talking about but they are really scarce they are rare they are the rare breed in the philippines guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope if you're an african watching this video there are certain points you were able to relate to please let me know in the comment section don't forget to like this video give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs up I'm sure you enjoyed the video so like it there's no point enjoying my video and not liking it are we fighting do we have do we have a beef please give my video a thumbs up <laughs> and also subscribe if you haven't okay Sub and I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye adios amigo adios amiga <laughs>